Get ready with me while I overshare about my struggles with my YouTuber boyfriend Edward. While I can't fully say I'm a YouTuber yet since I'm quite small and just starting, this video is about my boyfriend Edward. A lot of you know him from Cantamando. Here's some of the struggles I went through when we first started dating and some of the things we still go through till today after three years together because he's a YouTuber. Hi, by the way, if you're new here, my name is Pia. I'm a recently full-time content creator, so I do relationship, culture, and beauty on my channel, so make sure you subscribe to not miss a video. Where to start? Hmm. First of all, be prepared to share him. Even though YouTubers may not be considered celebrities, they do have a public presence, and that means a lot of attention comes to them. The most common example is someone stopping Edward for a photo, which I find so sweet, by the way, so keep doing that. So, yeah, so if you're out and spending some quality time together, be ready to share some of your time with others. Also, you'll notice people showing interest in him all the time, like girls sliding in his DMs, for example, which is so funny. <laughs> I actually should do videos about this. I should do a video reading our DMs sometime. But yeah, so you just have to get used to the idea that he's part of a bigger community and that's completely normal and adorable at the same time. My second point is that you have to be okay with any type of content he films. Of course, there are limits, but I mean, you have to be able to separate work life from your private life. So for example, when Edward and I first started dating, Canto Mendo was, st was still releasing dating videos back then and I remember Edward went on a date with a girl for the sake of a video I had no problem with this at that time since it was the start of our relationship but I don't think I'll be okay with this today especially because the relationship evolved and we're at a different stage emotionally to be honest, I'm not gonna lie I don't know how I would feel today if they decided or if Canto Mendo decided that they're gonna pursue uh, dating videos again <laughs> I'd be a little scared, but I don't think I'll have to worry about that anytime soon. Anyhow, anyway, you are still going to be put in certain situations that are not so ideal for you or for your relationship. That could potentially test your relationship and test your limits even to this day. Another thing, depending on the content, you must be okay with him being away for a while because they're gonna, they'll be gone to film content and you're not gonna see him for a couple of months sometimes because of that. Third point, you're not just getting his parents' approval, but rather his entire fan base approval. Well, to be honest, not really. You just have to deal with his fan base judging you. There's nothing more scary to be associated with someone who is already adored by many, especially when no one knows anything about you. Suddenly you get overrun by opinions and assumptions of you that you can't actually do anything about it. You don't even have the platform for it. You'll get a lot of hate comments, you'll get a lot of supportive comments as well. I'm not just saying that it's only negative, but it's really scary because you know, you're just sitting there reading all the comments and you're like, what the heck is going on? I'm not so many people assume so many things about me that really bothered me. And the worst thing is I had no platform to actually to let them know the real me and what I'm like and all of that. That was actually one of the reasons that I got into YouTube is because I wanted people to know me for me. So fourth point is that you think you know him until you don't. You get to really relearn or unlearn and relearn him and uh, disassociate dis his online personality. And yep, they're more than what you see on screens. Edward, for example, is a very serious person. He's very reserved, very serious, he's very hardworking. His online personality is all fun and trolls, but in real life, he's very mature and he's an introvert. He's also extremely funny and witty as you see him on the screen, but it's just a fraction of who he really is. So keep in mind, whatever you see on screen is literally just a fraction of a whole personality. And you'd actually be surprised with how many people are different in real life and how sometimes we idolize people that we know so little about. When I first got to know a lot of people in this field, I was pleasantly surprised with a lot of them, but I also was very shocked with some people that I thought they're because they put a, a different personality out there so I was like oh my god like they're so different in real life I also was very disappointed with some of the people I've met in the past that made me really truly understand that not everything you see on screen is how people are because I've actually realized this 
I wanted to keep it real with you guys from the start. I'm slowly, slowly learning to be more vulnerable on this channel and to open up more with you guys. So yeah, thanks for the support. Now, one last struggle I really want to talk about that also played a big part in our relationship is that you have to be able, you have to be ready to be able to keep up with a certain lifestyle, more so flexible lifestyle. YouTubers have the freedom to film anywhere, anywhere, anytime, at their own pace. That means a lot of spontaneous travels, unpredictable schedules and all of that which means also a lot of random events, vacations and meetups which could be pretty different if you're used to a more structured or traditional job so if you're someone who's used to a corporate lifestyle this might need some getting used to I remember when I first moved to Canada and worked in guest services in a small town called Yucalit on Vancouver Island. My schedule was literally all over the place and I barely had any control over my days off, obviously since it's in hospitality. I had to plan around limited time off, which made it very difficult for me to visit Edward. And um, it wasn't until I landed a remote job here in Toronto that I had more flexibility. Now that I am a full-time content creator, I finally have the freedom to keep up with this kind of lifestyle. But if you're used to a strict 9 to 5 routine or work in customer service, which is even worse, it's definitely something you'll have to work around. So that's one of the things. Anyway, enough of the struggles. Let's talk about some of the perks you get for having a YouTuber boyfriend. You get to meet a lot of YouTubers in the field and people you've never thought you'd meet in your lifetime, which is is so cool to be honest you'll also learn about the industry and the behind the scenes to be honest i'm quite familiar with this because of my background in filmmaking and media studies it's always nice to be surrounded with creative people and let's not forget getting invited to social gatherings and exclusive events with your partner so yeah this is technically some of the struggles that i i went through and i still go through till today so for my look it's complete what do you guys think Today is Mid-Autumn Festival here in Toronto and we're gonna go visit Edward's mom and eat some mooncakes. I got some her I got her some mooncakes, I'm so excited. Yep, yeah, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time.